All right, we're on our way to the 9-11 Truth protest. Myself and Ed Sanders have attended many protests for 9-11 Truth and other conscious causes. It's always exciting when you go to a new place and meet a new group of people excited about getting the truth out. I don't know if you got a chance to watch our latest encounter with the city commission, but it seems most of our government officials and the media, of course, they're not interested in the truth. What is a world where we live in where the word truthers has a negative connotation to it? And you hear guys like Chris Matthews, of course, if you watched us raid the pasture with this Koran burning stunt, calling us truthers and whatnot. Well, what does that make him? It makes him a liar. That's what it makes him. Okay, folks, 10 years later, here we are on the street corner demanding that you wake up. Now why, 10 years later, are we demanding that many of you watch the footage of Building 7? Have you not watched it yourselves? Or are you brainwashed by the mainstream media? Are you sitting in the lies and propagandas comfortably numb with the mainstream media? Well, we have your truth for you. Google Building 7, just watch the footage for yourselves. Make up your own minds, think for yourselves, you all can do it, I know it. It's called critical thinking. Don't take our word for it. Research it yourselves. That's what architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth did. That's what pilots for 9-11 Truth did. That's what architects all around the world are saying. Okay, folks, you need to take a closer look at this because this affects our future. False flag terrorism, believe it or not, affects our future. When we live in a world where there's cameras on every street corner and you're telling your Facebook page every single thought in your mind, does it not sound very similar to 1984? Yes, you deserve a better investigation of the truth. That's absolutely right. We care about the first responders that still, to this day, are dying of illnesses from the demolishing tower, from the towers being demolished. Okay, folks, this lady right here with her finger out is being so disrespectful right now to the first responders. I'm going to take a moment now to educate her because I know she cares about this country and the people whose lives were affected on September 11th. Doesn't do anything, ma'am. Did you watch Building 7, yes or no, ma'am? Have you watched the footage of Building 7, yes or no, ma'am? I guess you can't answer. The yes or no question, if you can't think for yourselves, then we're not interested in sharing our information with you. If you want to think for yourselves, simply watch Building 7 collapse in approximately 7 seconds on YouTube, or from Fox News, CNN, wherever you want to watch the footage, just watch the footage and think for yourselves. All we're asking you to do is use a little bit of critical thinking skills and watch the towers in free fall speed collapse to the ground. Yes, have you heard of World Trade Center 7? People are scared of the truth. They are scared to death of the truth. Because if what we're saying is real, then your whole existence, washing away with the mainstream media propaganda, is under threat. And that's hard for you to take. We want you to be good thinkers. That's why we're here to help you. The good news is, you guys too can be supporters of the truth. 9-11 conspiracy theorists taking their message of suspicion to the streets of Fort Myers this afternoon. 
government is not telling us everything about 9-11. About a dozen 9-11 self-proclaimed truthers holding signs near 41 in Colonial this afternoon calling the terror attacks against the World Trade Centers and the Pentagon nine years ago, quote, an inside job. Some drivers not impressed and letting them know that with a hand gesture or two. Others honking their support. The demonstrators say they just want answers. Even though it's a radical belief, even though it's a radical ideology, if you look for the research you know, yourself, um, start to find a lot of holes in the official story, and we're just here to ask questions, that's all. Now, the group says 1,300 architects and engineers nationwide are calling for a new investigation, despite an exhaustive report from the government's 9-11 commission saying al-Qaeda was solely responsible. The 9-11 conspiracy movement has been routinely dismissed by Republican and Democratic leaders. A lot of... Wait a second, bitch. Was Building 7 hit by an airplane? No, it was not hit by an airplane. There were three buildings that fell on 9-11, not two. So you're telling me this 47-story building, several hours later, decided to collapse instantaneously in a matter of seconds? That's exactly what I'm telling you. And that's why we need to ask more questions. Why did it fall at free fall speed? Why? Ask questions, people. Ask questions, Fort Myers. Ask questions, America. Do your own research. Google WTC7. Google false flag operations. Support your country. This isn't about parties. This isn't about politics. This is about truth. Now, that's funny you say that because a lot of people think going on the street corner with signs and a bullhorn might be a political action. Well, the issue of 9 11 is completely secular. On September 11, 2001, we witnessed one of the largest false flag terrorist attacks of our lifetimes. In Shanksville, Pennsylvania, there was absolutely no debris found from an airplane that supposedly was brought down by the passengers that made cell phone calls that could not possibly have been made. Look into that for yourself. The mainstream media has lied to you. Now we're here to tell you that it's okay because they're not your only source. You guys know how to use YouTube and Google, which is great. And you can use YouTube to watch Building 7 collapse. Just YouTube it. Building 7, it's pretty easy to watch. It only takes six seconds. And it only takes six seconds to watch this entire 47-story building collapse in free fall speed. Now you tell me, does it not appear that something's up here? Do buildings just decide to fall all at once because of damage and fires? Well, the NIST report will tell you that, but our consensus of over a thousand professional architects and engineers think differently. This prison of treason states that you must take a closer look at this because if you do not, you could be tried with treason yourselves. If you are made aware of a treasonous offense, and you do not do your due diligence to report this crime. You yourself can be considered a silent co-conspirator. These people are honking for 9-11 truth. People in their cars are honking for 9-11 truth. People are giving us thumbs up for 9-11 truth. Architects and engineers are calling for 9-11 truth. Why are these numbers going up? Why are they not they, going they down? They often ask us, you know, do we think 9-11 didn't happen or, you know, crazy things like that? All right, we're just like leaving the protest in Fort Myers, Florida. Absolutely successful protest. We got news coverage from the local news. And we're excited that there are 9-11 truthers all throughout the state, all throughout the country, all throughout the world, interested in actually receiving answers. Not just for us, because we know the answers. We want the mainstream masses. We don't want to preach to the choir any longer. We want the masses to wake up to what's going on. Another successful rally. We were glad to have been here. Myself, Ed Sanders. I want to thank all the Fort Myers crew for all the great work they've done and continue to do it, guys. Uh, this was their first action that I know of and I want to encourage them to continue to do this. Uh, go in front of your city commission. Do everything you can in this local grassroots effort. It's important that we as activists stand up for truth 
Even though it's difficult and we received some middle fingers, we also received a lot of people thanking us for what we've done. So on behalf of all people interested in truth, I'm Bob Tuscan, Truth Be Told Radio, theylie.com.